this practical, which is practical 1.3. In this practical, we will be focusing on the submerged bioethanol fermentation process by using a shed flask. Ready? Let's get started. Previously, we had sterilized all the necessary materials needed for the fermentation. The materials are pipette tips, inoculum media, fermentation media, and 15 ml tubes. Now that all the needed materials are ready, let us begin with the preparation of yeast inoculum. All the preparation and sampling for the fermentation will be done in the laminar floor cabinet. This is because the air inside the laminar floor is filtered. This can prevent the contamination in our samples. To use the laminar floor cabinet, firstly, you need to turn on the light. Turn on the fan then sanitize the working surface by using 70% alcohol. Turn on the UV light for disinfection purpose. We will be using the yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae as the inoculum in this experiment. We are going to inoculate the yeast from PDA plate into glucose liquid media by using a disposable loop. The disposable loop does not need prior sterilization and can be disposed right after usage. By using the inoculating loop, pick some of the yeast colony from the plant and swirl it inside the inoculation media until it detached from the loop. Shake the flask gently. Cover the flask by using the aluminium foil. Then, the yeast culture will be incubated in an incubator shaker with a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius for 12 hours. After 12 hours, take out the yeast culture from the incubator. The yeast culture turned cloudy which indicates that the yeast is growing. By using a micro pipette, pipette out 3 ml of yeast culture and place it inside a 3 ml clear and clean cuvette. A spectrophotometer will be used to measure the yeast growth at 600 nanometer wavelength. To use a spectrophotometer, firstly, you need to set the desired wavelength. Then, you need to zero the machine by using a blank which is distilled water. Make sure the clear area of the cuvette is facing the light beam of the spectrophotometer. Press auto zero to change the absorbance to zero. absorbance reading has turned zero, take out the blank. And place the cuvette containing your sample. If your culture has sufficiently grown, the absorbance value will be around 0 0.5 to 0 0.8. If the value is lower, you need to incubate the yeast longer. And if the value exceeded the range, you need to dilute the yeast. When your inoculum is ready, it's time to start the fermentation. Transfer the inoculum into the glucose fermentation media. Check the flask well. 
inoculum comprises of 10% of fermentation volume. If your fermentation volume is 100 ml, you will need to add 10 ml of inoculum. You need to make immediate sampling for your initial reading, which is zero hour. Take up 5 ml of the sample. Place it into a sterilized tube. The sample will be used to monitor the yeast growth by using a spectrophotometer and also to analyze the ethanol and glucose concentration by using high performance liquid chromatography or HPLC machine. The flask is then placed inside the incubator shaker of 30 degrees Celsius and sampling will be done for every 6 hours. This is the High Performance Liquid Chromatography Machine or also known as the HPLC machine. By using this machine, we can analyze the glucose and ethanol content in our samples. Samples that are about to be analyzed by using the HPLC machine must be filter sterilized to avoid contaminations and big particles that can interfere with the analysis. Compound peaks will be generated to show the components that existed in the sample. For our experiment, glucose falls on the minute of 4.3, whereas ethanol peak is at 9.6 minutes.